Hey guys and uh, welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, as usual, I can't thank you guys enough for liking and uh, subscribing to my videos, so please continue to do so. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you can be notified of my new videos that are coming online. i uh, also like to say thank you to everybody who's um, sending me some PayPal coffees. Um, much appreciated, it's keeping me going and uh, keeping me motivated to carry on and do some more work. So, um, today I'm going to... Um, oh, before I forget, this picture here, this is uh, one of the finished products of um, the job I did uh, about a year ago. The, the one I posted a while back, um, showing all the different lights. A uh, little beachfront, this, this is somebody's garden and all these lights you can see here they're actually RGBW lights there and RGBW lights here, underwater lights and um, these also boiler lights here. So this is like a, a finished project, so one I'm very uh, very proud of. And this is the one that we did with uh, some of the local electricians uh, over down in Leicester. Anyway, detracting from the subject, um, today's video is all about apps and uh, more to be honest the lack of um, but but I have found an app well I have been reminded of an app I should say properly uh, by a client of mine and we're gonna be uh, talking about that so without further ado I'm going to switch over to the iPad where we will talk about um, the different apps Right, um, here we are now on my iPad. So, this is an iPad Air, um, the one that you use on my back door. And so, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the different apps that we have. Okay, so let's start with the native Home Center 3 app, which is here. So everything's downloaded and have credentials. So once the app opens, we come to a screen like this. Now, the thing is, if I click on that one, you can actually see, if you remember back, it's all it is, is the um, the iPhone app and um, double size with this button just to make it fit into the iPad screen. So really, to be honest, it's not actually the native app for an iPad at all. All it is, is just an upsized version of the Home Center 3 app for the phone or for your, any mobile phone, whether it's an Android or whether it's... Um, iOS. Uh, so uh, I'll carry on with this, but at least it means I can do uh, the phone video at the same time. So here at the top, you've got your scenes and underneath there you have devices and underneath there you've got the rooms. So at the moment, I haven't set any rooms as a favorite. So it comes populated as though all my rooms are favorites. So to change that, all you do is just click on the top right and hike on and click on the options for favorite scenes and as i only have three visible scenes um, i'm going to leave them for my alarm so let's go on to devices so as you can see once it loads up that all the devices in this list are favorites so all i have to do is just uncheck uncheck them all oh. It's a bit slow, this iPad's a bit old. So uncheck, uncheck, uncheck. So if I go down the list and I can just uncheck all these devices and what happens is then they just get removed from the list. So if I click on back and then if I go to the rooms, again, it's exactly the same principle. Um, click on these, um, rooms and we can just uncheck them all and if i click on back and then back again you can see that my list has now changed so here we've got the different rooms instead and the devices have changed so um, and that's literally it from the top however you can just scroll and it will actually tell you in a nutshell what lights are on so if I scroll across there, 
it'll tell you whether my windows are open so all windows are closed uh, whether the blinds are open closed or any switch devices are on or off so this is based on the device types of your um, home center so even in, um, if the alarm is activated any motion sensors or any motion being detected um, temperature and power consumption so those are like quick shortcuts so that's the app so to be honest it's um, I don't like it and I don't think many people will because there's hardly any customization available and also it only works in portrait mode and many of us have uh, installed these iPads in uh, tablet mode uh, sorry landscape mode which means that um, we're gonna have to tilt our heads all the time so leaving that aside we can go to the next app so that's the home center the actual home center 2 app for Fibaro for the iPad so this will be a familiar interface for everybody and uh, to be honest it works and it does work a lot better than the home center 3 app there's only one issue and the issue is because the home center 2 and the home center 3 the syntax is different for the coding it means that the scenes will not transfer across and therefore we can't activate any scenes at all on the iPad with this app so it would mean that if you do need to activate scenes you either use the home center 2 and scroll across or give me a few moments and we'll come on to a better version but here you can do again you can just change these devices to shortcuts for your own there's your time weather um, again the usual shortcuts at the top to tell you how many lights are on the temperature etc um, and if you scroll across motion sensors and of course we've got the uh, event uh, quick action for your different rooms but as before it's only the um, it's only available to for switching devices only and not scene based devices so that got me thinking again now if you watched my previous video a while back about the imperi home unfortunately imperi home no longer exists um, and therefore development has stopped we can't log in so i can't show you that app and there and also it would have had the same issue in the fact that the um, it wouldn't have been updated for home center 3 uh, another option i did try was called the home um, dashboard with home assistant or home panel and again we the same issue i came across the same issue as with the home center 2 app and the fact that it wasn't compatible with home center 3 then i revisited uh, another app that i looked at well one of my clients reminded me of it to be honest called the home remote so let me oh, click on home let's get out of that one now the home remote is this one now when you first download it and install it you will be presented with an option to uh, add a device and then you would click on the plus to add the device so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly show you so this is my phone and on here I have uh, installed home remote so this is the default screen when you've added the home remote so you click on the plus and we're going to be adding in a new device and then we can choose any of these so let's find Fibaro um, now I'm just going to fill out my details port number, usernames and of course the password then here at the bottom it asks you what version so we're going to choose the um, HT3 protocols is HTTP and then on the top right hand corner you hit save and there you are 
and what it does is then it loads up the home center in all the scenes so all these icons here with the play is the scenes and the rest are all um, devices um, you can see the blue square is um, solid which means that light is on you can actually control it as well to turn the lights on and off so that's all here now it's not very useful is this at all no so um, what we have to do is we have to um, make it lot user friendly and uh, there is a way of doing that so let's close that now and the way of doing that is on the windows there's a program called home remote designer and what you do with that program is you do exactly what I just said there you add in the device for the home center but you can then design and create your own dashboard I've done one so I've spent a few hours and I've created one so let's put this in portrait uh, landscape mode so here is my dashboard so um, as you can see straight away I've got cameras there and also lights there I've got um, scenes there for alarm control and temperature so here's my dashboard layout so what you do once I've designed what I wanted I then put the relevant I created the relevant boxes squares or in a in a grid format put the time there I've got temperature so a quick look at so I can see what temperature the water is on quick access uh, so if I do need to run the water I can run it like a water boost um, light indications of what's going on outside uh, internal lights over here and also when I click the icons it actually changes the um, uh, the icon to tell me that the lights are actually on as well uh, or off as well so um, there you have it and also on this one it these icons because it's co so customizable I've actually created this as a dual function so this shows that say the garage door is closed and the gate is closed but if I click that it, yep oops if I click that now it'll show that the um, gate is opening and the gate is actually opened so and if I show you the picture oh, I don't know if you can see that clearly there and if I click it again so I clicked it twice so it actually stopped so if I click that again um, it'll now show that the gate has closed and the icon also updates that the gate has closed so you can you have features that you can do things like that so not only can you switch device you can also get the status of the device all on one icon unlike some of the programs um, the other feature I wanted to show you is the alarm one so here's my alarm so when we're away from home you take that when we're night mode we click on that you can see the little moon there here is when we come home oh before that here's the little icon which turns red to indicate that the alarm is actually on so that lets the family people know that the alarm is on and they need to disarm and then this one you press to disarm now you might say anybody can do that no nope. what it does is once I click on this the clock disappears and it replaces it with a keypad and then you have to put the code in correctly hit enter to um, to put the correct code in if you make a mistake you press clear and try again and to hit enter and only if you have the correct code it will actually turn off the alarm if not it will activate within that uh, entry delay time so so back to time again so it's like a two-in-one so we've got like what's called a hidden panel this is uh, took me uh, probably a few hours to do but I had to learn it from scratch because there's not much uh, tutorials around so what I'm going to be doing is hopefully I'm going to be starting some uh, tutorial sessions on how to customize and create your own home remote I have paid for the pro version um, of the app and I definitely recommend you guys do the same it's um, in the UK on the App Store it's £4.99 and it then takes away the little bar at the bottom and I will say it's definitely well worth it and I've got this on both my front iPad and the rear iPad and on top of that 
you can actually customize um, the different screens. So on the front, I've got the front camera displaying with front lights, etc., um, and energy. Where and on the rear iPad, I've got the rear stuff. So you can actually make customize what displays what you can, you don't have to uh, uh, have the same page and everything. And on top of that, this will work with not just iPads. This file that I've created can also be transferred to any phone, any tablet, um, Windows based device, Android based device, Apple based devices, it doesn't matter, phones, tablets, it'll work. That's how the, the versatility of this product. So there we have it. So um, if you have any more any questions, I'm going to leave you with this. Um, just give me a, a comment section. Um, leave a comment if you like these videos I've said before please do hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so you get notified of all the new videos that I'm going to be doing and um, if you uh, want to buy me a coffee please uh, click on the link and um, send a coffee my way so thanks for watching and uh, bye for now